Are you looking for ways to calm anxiety? Then stick around because in this episode, we are talking about PMR or progressive muscle relaxation for calming anxiety. So let's go. Hello Thrivers and welcome back to the Mental Health Toolbox. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Patrick Martin and I am on a mission to help 1 million people improve their quality of life through skills on personal development. So let's get started. All right, so today we're talking about progressive muscle relaxation. And if you don't already know about PMR, this is a skill you should know about because much like deep breathing, a skill we recently covered on this show, it's a skill you can take with you anywhere. You can do this while you sit down, while you're laying down, even while you're hanging upside down. But that's enough rhyming for now. So let's talk for a second about what it is. According to the American Psychological Association, Progressive muscle relaxation is a technique in which the individual is trained to relax the entire body by becoming aware of tensions in various muscle groups and then relaxing one muscle group at a time. In some cases, the individual consciously tenses specific muscle groups or muscles and then releases tension to achieve relaxation throughout the body. This is also called the Jacobson relaxation method because it was developed by U.S. physician Edmund Jacobson in 1888. Now let's stop for a second and talk about why it works. You see, progressive muscle relaxation works because the body responds to stress with muscle tension, which can cause pain or discomfort. In turn, tense muscles relate to the body that it is stressed. That keeps the cycle of stress and muscle tension going. Progressive muscle relaxation helps break this cycle by reducing muscle tension and general mental anxiety. This method often helps people get to sleep as well. And you can find this information as quoted at myhealth.alberta.ca. Okay, so now let's talk about how to do progressive muscle relaxation. So in order to practice this method, you'll want to be laying or sitting in a comfortable position and then engage in deep breathing exercises, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then, you want to tense your muscle groups one at a time, starting at the toes and working your way up the body to the shoulders and then back down, tensing the muscle on the inhale and relaxing it on the exhale. Remember with deep breathing to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. This is a skill that I want to share with you because much like deep breathing, it's effective for grounding, for controlling your heart rate, and for being mindful and checking in with your body, okay? And one of the the main reasons that progressive muscle relaxation works is because you are, in fact, helping to engage your body in that rest and digest response. We've talked about anxiety reactions and how the sympathetic nervous system gets activated and we have to kick in the sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system in order to calm our circulation our heart rate get things back in homeostasis and this is one fantastic way to do that and it doesn't take long and it's oftentimes an overlooked coping skill but really um, it's just as simple as deep breathing with a few added steps so let me walk you through that real quick Okay, so the idea of progressive muscle relaxation is that it's practiced in concert with the deep breathing we discussed previously, and if you would like to check that video out, uh, just click on the card up here, and you will see what I'm referring to. Okay, Um, so progressive muscle relaxation starts with engaging in the deep breathing. If you remember, that's the four seconds in. Fill your lungs, eight seconds out, or four by six breathing, whatever is more comfortable for you. But we're going to be engaged in that deep breathing activity. And then at the same time, we are going to start clenching our muscle groups from the toes up to our head and back down. 
And so what that basically looks like is while we are practicing the deep breathing, we will be clenching our toes and then releasing. And then the calves, you clench that and then you release. And then your thighs and or buttocks. And then your abdomen. And then your shoulders. And then back down in that order. So it doesn't have to be exact muscle groups, but the importance here is that you are tensing your muscles, muscle groups from the toes up your body and back down. You don't want to rush this. This is something you want to do, take your time with, and the, for a twofold purpose, really. One is, of course, to calm yourself down, but the other is to identify the difference between a restful state and an anxious state. Much like you've noticed when you're upset, your breathing gets shallow, your muscles might get tense. And so oftentimes this is a way that we can check in with our body to remind ourselves of what feeling restful is like as opposed to anxious, especially if you're prone to anxiety. It's um, a great way to check in with your body, okay? So if you recall, um, when we start deep breathing, Again, we're going in through our nose, holding a little bit, and then out through our mouth. Kind of like that. Okay. And as we practice this, again, we can do this in a sitting position, our feet flat on the floor. I encourage you to have your shoes off if you can. Um, you can also do this, like I said, laying down or in another relaxed position. Um, you can do this on your bed, in your car, in your office chair, whatever is convenient for you. The most important thing is that, again, you're taking your time. So as you're practicing the deep breathing, you're going to clench your toes, release your calves. So when you're doing your calves, you're actually going to be lifting up your toes, the, the balls of your feet off the floor a little bit, and you're going to be resting on your heels as you, as you tense your calves and then release that. And then as you tense your thighs, you probably have to lift your feet all the way off the floor as you're, as you're doing this so that you feel your thighs actually tense up and then you're going to release that, okay? And so you only want to do as much as is safe for you, what feels safe. Again, as, even as far as the deep breathing is concerned, you want to be uh, mindful of any medical conditions. If you have COPD or limitations with your breathing, you just do what is safe for you. And you can do progressive muscle relaxation without the deep breathing. It's just if you want the full benefit, you want to do the controlled breathing in concert with it. Okay. And this, you know, shouldn't take more than five minutes or less. Just practice it, you know, once or twice a day and get familiar with it so that wherever you are, if you're starting to feel anxious or tense, you can just take a minute and do this on your own. Okay. And again, it's non-invasive, low friction. So it uh, shouldn't be too uncomfortable, even if you're in a more public setting, work or whatnot, that you can do this without even drawing a lot of attention to yourself, okay? Well, there you have it, another tool for your toolbox. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes, and I'll catch you next time. Go make good things happen. Bye-bye now. <laughs> you can even do it upside down but I wouldn't recommend it.